Come in, Katie, lie with me. And we're gonna be washing the fruit. You don't want it dirty here. You gotta make sure it's clean. Next, you're gonna be drying your lime. I already have one set here. And we're gonna be cutting it into thin slices. I'm using my mandolin here, but you have to be very, very careful when using the mandolin. The mandolin is very sharp. You should never use this without parental supervision. Otherwise, you could cut yourself. I'm gonna do some lemons too, just because I have some lemons that are gonna go bad soon, so I might as well make some candied lemons. At this point, you're gonna wanna make sure you take out any seeds that you see, because you're not gonna wanna bite into a seed when you bite into candy. At this point, you are going to be transferring over your lime and lemon slices onto paper towels so that they can dry. I like to do this part. You don't have to. It's all up to you, but I like to separate them. Now you'll be taking one cup of sugar and one cup of water and bringing that to a boil. So we're going to bring this up to a medium heat to let it boil, but we're going to stir this in first. Once it's combined and it's clear, we're going to let it sit and simmer. It's a bubble like this. You're going to want to turn it to low. Now we are going to start adding the limes in. But be careful because the syrup is going to be hot. You could burn you could burn yourself, so make sure you're careful. But at this point, you're going to let it simmer. I usually like to simmer it for about 30 minutes, and then I turn it halfway through. Make sure to turn them over halfway through. And when they end up reaching kind of like a see-through golden color, you're going to remove them. There you have it. Candied limes.